I turned my Starbucks drinks into cakes and it was a pretty cool process. So let me show you how I did it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Kowali Pops. My name is Cynthia Nixon, and today we're taking different Starbucks drinks and turning them into cakes. Now, originally I shot these videos for Instagram, but some of the results were so good that I wanted to share them with you guys. So let's get started. Now the first drink we're gonna turn into a Starbucks cake is the Apple Crisp Macchiato. Now to start off, I have an apple upside down cake and I'm going to add a ring of buttercream and just add more apple filling. This is just apple pie filling. It's really good. I put a lot of cinnamon. <laughs> I thought I put too much, but it, it tasted really good. I'm gonna repeat this process twice so that I can stack three layers. After that, I gave this a crumb coat, gave it a final coat, and then added some pie crust crumbs to the outside of the cake. I'm gonna to top this with more cooked pie filling apples, then pie crust, and a little bit of caramel drizzle. I don't know why, but all Starbucks drinks, when you add caramel drizzle to it, it just makes it so much better. It doesn't even matter what flavor. And voila, my apple crisp macchiato cake was complete. This one, I think, is like the weakest entry of all of the cakes. <laughs> Cause it's missing espresso, like, this cake tastes good, but it just tastes like an apple pie cake. Now what was better, the drink or the cake? The cake was so much better than the drink. The drink that I got, it just seemed like all of the flavors were so muddled. And yes, you are missing that coffee flavor, but if you eat this cake with a cup of coffee, you're good. If I could do this cake over again, I would totally soak each of my cake layers in espresso, and then it would be perfect. But it's a good first try. Now let's move on to the next one. So the second drink that I'm turning into a cake is the Caramel Crunch Frappuccino. I made a caramel upside down cake. It's just vanilla cake and I added some caramel to the bottom of the pan. It worked so well because all of that caramel seeped into the batter and it made this really nice ooey gooey texture. It was perfect. Now I've got buttercream in between my layers. I'm also adding some caramel ribbon and some crunchy caramel bits as well. I'm gonna repeat that process over so that I can stack another cake, give this a crumb coat, a final coat, and then I'm going to add some more caramel to the side. I really wanted a crunchy texture, so I added a little bit of pie crust to the side as well. Then I added some caramel drip, more pie crust and caramel crumbs, and some buttercream decorations to finish it off. Now, the drink is definitely better <laughs> than this cake. But hold up, because this cake was bomb, but it feels so heavy. The Starbucks drink is really heavy as well, but because it's like a slushy, it feels light in your mouth. Both of them are still pretty bad for you, but I would definitely choose the drink over this cake. For the next cake, I chose a pumpkin spice latte. I'm starting with a spiced pumpkin cake, and I'm just going to drizzle and drown my cake in pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be easier to soak, but I actually had to take my time pouring the pumpkin spice on top. Now I'm adding cream cheese buttercream in between all of my layers, and I'm going to stack three, just like I did the other two cakes. And then very slowly, I'm going to add more pumpkin spice latte. And then I gave this a crumb coat, a final coat, and then I added a spiral of buttercream to the sides. I found this like itty bitty pumpkin pie over at the Walmart. It looks so cute. So I added it to the side. It looks like a tiny sun, doesn't it? Now to finish this cake, I'm adding some leaves made of wafer paper. They just look so cute. And when I added them to the spiral, it, oh my gosh, if autumn was a cake, this is what it would be. It looks so perfect. Oh my God. Earth, Wind, and Fire would sing songs about this cake. <laughs> now what's better, the drink or the cake? To be honest, I don't like pumpkin spice, so I wouldn't choose either. <laughs> I don't remember eating this cake or drinking the pumpkin spice latte. Totally just made this cake because I thought it would be trending. But my cousin who likes pumpkin spice latte said that this cake was good, but um, she doesn't really have a good taste, so I don't know if I trust her. <laughs> but it looks pretty. Now, the final cake. This, the piece of the distance. That word. This was the best of the bunch. For my final cake, I'm taking the strawberry funnel cake frappuccino and turning it into a cake. I'm starting with strawberry upside down layers. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm adding more strawberry pie filling and then I'm adding tiny funnel cakes. It's perfect. We've got some stabilized whipped cream, more strawberry pie filling, and I'm just gonna repeat this process until I have all three of my cakes stacked. 
These funnel cakes were so pretty warm, I just took them out of the fryer. They were cooled down enough that they didn't mess up whipped cream. After my cakes were stacked, I added a little bit of decoration and some strawberries on top, but I really wanted you to see all these layers. It looks like a mess, but it just looks so tasty. What a beautiful disaster, right? This cake was the cake that made me want to share this video with you guys. It's totally something I want you to try. The flavor profile is very simple, but really good. And the mouthfeel, you have this nice, gooey, strawberry upside down cake, and then you have the crunch of the funnel cake. Oh, oh my gosh. The only thing I wish I did was add powdered sugar to the top of this, then it would have been perfect. But the next time I make this cake, I'm definitely gonna do that. And I'm curious, what Starbucks drinks would you like me to turn into cakes next? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye.